Hi everyone, in this video I will be installing Arch Linux Encrypted in a dual boot setup with Windows without using a USB drive or DVD. So, going to download Arch, going to archlinux.org, right side, download, and select your mirror. I'm going to pick the worldwide mirror and download the ISO. Once it's done, right click and mount or hit enter, open. We see it come up as the F drive, and if I right click properties, it's about 950 megabytes, about one gig. Open up disk management. Here's my C drive. I'm going to shrink it to make space for Arch Linux. So I'll use 50 gigabytes for Arch. And for the ISO, it was one gigabyte. So 51 gigabytes in total. Now I'm going to create a new volume. Next, it will be one gigabyte. Next, next, FAT32. I'll label it as ISO. Next, finish. All right, and now I'm going to copy everything from the F drive to the D drive. Paste it in the D drive. And now I no longer need it mounted. So right click, eject. And my D drive here, it's a basic data partition. It may have to be seen as an EFI partition in your BIOS to get noticed correctly. So if so, open up command prompt as an administrator, disk part, list my disk, select disk zero, list my partitions, select partition five, and type in help set ID, scroll up, and here's the EFI system partition type in hex. I'm going to copy it, set ID equal to paste. And we see it has been changed in disk management. And if I want to change it back to a basic data type, I'm going to copy and paste it in. And we see it's been changed back. Now I'm going to restart my computer and go into the BIOS. Ensure you have secure boot disabled. I have an American Megatrends BIOS and in my boot order, it sees that there's another OS or in other words, the Arch Linux content from the one gigabyte volume and it's labeled as UFI OS. And how do I know that? If I go back into Windows, open up command prompt as an admin and run bcd edit forward slash enum firmware, I will see an entry for it. So I'll have to change this. So it boots the UFI OS first. All right, so it's booted up and I'm going to select Arch Linux, install medium. Okay, it's booted into Arch. I'm gonna type in IP-A. And I have a wired connection and it's ENO1 and I have an IP address. So I'm going to ping the internet to ensure it works. And I can confirm it works. Now, if you have a wireless connection, I'll go over that as well. So my wireless NIC is WLAN0. And I'm going to set that up. First, I'm going to bring down my wired connection. I'm going to clear my screen. And I'm going to use IWCTL. So you can use the interface and go into it, or you can do everything from command line. I'm going to do it from command line. So I'm going to do IWCTL device list, which will list my device. All right, and make sure that it's powered on. And your interface, make sure it's not powered off. And if it's off, turn it on. So mine's already on. I'm going to turn it off, and I'll turn it back on. And it's off. Now I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to clear my screen. Now I'm going to do a scan. And I'm going to get the wireless networks. All right, so there's my network. I'm going to connect to it. Put in my password. All right, I'm connected. I'm going to clear my screen and I'm going to do a show. All right, and we see I'm connected and there's my IP address and I'm going to ping out. All right, so I'm able to ping out, so that's good. I'm going to clear my screen, use FDisk to list my disks. And so there's my disk, NVMe 0N1. So I'm going to go into FDisk, P to print. 
I'm going to create a new partition, n, default, default, and I'll do plus 512 megs. This will be the EFI partition for Arch. Create another partition, default, default, and I'll use the rest of the space, and this will be for slash, and then W to write and quit. Now I'm going to run Arch install. Select my mirror, mirror region, enter, back, locale, I'll keep it as default US, back, disk configuration, partitioning, I'm going to go manual partitioning, select my disk, and then go to my newly created partition, partition 6, assign the mount point, slash boot, go back to it, Mark to be formatted, go back to it, change file system, FAT32, go to partition 7, assign the mount point, it'll be for slash, go back to it, mark to be formatted, go back to it, change file system, ext4, confirm and exit, go back, disk encryption, encryption type, Set it to Lux, encryption password, put in your password. Now I'm using a simple password for this video, but of course you would want to use something that's more secure. I'm going to select my partition. This is the partition that will be encrypted, slash, go back, bootloader, I'm going to change it to grub, swap true, put in your host name, root password, user account, add a user. Yes, it should be a super user. Confirm and exit. Go to profile, type, desktop. I'm going to select KDE Plasma. Go into my graphics driver. I have AMD, so I'm going to be selecting that. Go back, audio, pipe wire. The kernel, I'm going to keep it as Linux. Additional packages, so I'm going to put in Firefox. You can always add in the packages afterwards. Network configuration. I'm going to use Network Manager for the GUI. Put in your time zone. Automatic time sync, NTP, true. You can put in any optional repositories. And I'm going to install. It's asking to root into the newly created installation. Yes. Type in EFI Boot Manager. And we don't see Grub or Arch here, so I'm going to fix that. Going to install grub. Grub install target x86, 64, EFI directory slash boot and recheck. I'm type in EFI boot manager again. And we see arch is there, so that's good. And the boot order has it to be booted first. So I'm going to reboot, go into the BIOS to confirm that it's going to be booted first. And if it doesn't come up, check in your BIOS to ensure that arch is selected to be booted first. All right, in my case here is re for Arch, so I have to change that and have it boot first. And now I'm going to save changes and reset. All right, Grub comes up as expected, but there's no Windows, so I'm going to fix that by going into Arch. And because I've encrypted slash, it's asking here for my passphrase that I set up earlier. So I'm going to put it in, log in, open up a terminal, sudo in, I'm going to install OS Prober so it can look for other operating systems. Yes. Now I'm going to open up the Etsy default grub configuration file using nano. Go to the bottom and look for grub disable OS prober. I'm going to remove the hash. Control X to exit. Save. Yes. And enter. Run OS prober. It's found Windows. And now I'm going to run grub make config to make a new configuration file. All right. So it's found the Windows boot manager. So that's good. And now I'm going to reboot. All right, Grub comes up and we see the Windows Boot Manager. So I'm going to go into it. All right, I'm able to get into Windows. Lastly, a final note about the ISO, the D drive. It may seem that you would want to delete it, but you will likely run into an issue with dual booting. So keep the drive until you decide you don't want to dual boot. And that's it. That's how you can install Arch Linux Encrypted in a dual boot setup with Windows without using a USB drive. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.